the museum saw them and they just loved how how they the pictures were. The exhibit is not that's not a hip hop exhibit. It's a photography exhibit. It's got like hundreds of pictures in it, but those were chosen and they bought those to put in the museum of us. I guess a hardcore committee on there with me, me, uh, well, a couple members of the hardcore committee. Ivan Ill, who was an executive producer, and X Man, who was another MC. My best friend stayed around the corner from me. We all on this picture. <clears throat> and that that been up since um mm, October twenty first. 2016 and it'll be up to uh, April 23rd, 2017. Let me check it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, so they got um, that's us on the wall, then they got Denon from D12 on the picture next to us, and then Fat Cat, Guilty Simpson, and uh, Hex Murder on the picture, and then uh, Seven of General and Nick Speed on another picture. So they chose four of her pictures to be in that exhibit. And then um, the event that we was at, Yes, oh, it that is. Was yes, it is. <laughs> I know. Like, oh, so I know. Uh, but <sighs> that's an uh, exhibit it's called Deciphered uh, Photos by Jenny Richard, and that's a 100% dedicated hip hop exhibit that's going to be opening at the DIA August the 4th. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to be all of the. Uh, well, not all. I'm going to never say all because everybody always, they, mean, they always forgot about me. They forgot about me. And it's like, I ain't really even forgot about you. It's like, it's hard to just name everybody. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it's like, you know, but if you did enough, you will be, be everybody will say your name. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't complain, you know, mm -hmm. about my name not being said on other levels. You know, I, my name is known in Detroit and it's known across the country and around the world. It's known, mm -hmm. but it's not <clears throat> a household name. We was on the cusp. We was there, right there, mm -hmm. label mates with N.W.A. Uh, with, and Priority Records right back in the day at 89. And we was banging. I mean, our records was hot. I mean, frankly speaking, which was the second single off the first album, reached number six on Billboard Top 25 Rap Singles. It came well, in at number. Out there. Yeah, yeah. Billboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We came in at number 25 with a bullet and went up every week, and it peaked out at number six. December 16th, 1989, was number six hot rap single in, in the United States of America. And the album was number 52, top 100 black albums in the country. We was up there, I could, I never forget, I still had a paper, we was like in between Maze and uh, uh, Luther Vandross album. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was like on top and on the bottom. I'll never forget it, but it was the top 100. I'm looking at that shit, you couldn't tell me nothing. My head was out of this world. <laughs> I was like 21, you know what I'm saying? We had already had little bread, you know, before the music. We wasn't in the music for bread because it wasn't like bread was available like that at that mm -hmm. time. It was That wasn't what we was in it for. We was just trying to get out there, express ourselves, have our name known. Because our first, our first record we ever put out, that was like 87. Hardcore, Dean of Rap, and My Little Friend. First uh, 12 inch had three songs on it. That was 87. Then we came out with the second 12 inch, Out of Reach, uh, LL stands for Lame Loser, and I Don't Like You, Cool Moshi. And then the third 12 inch was You Can't Hold Me Back and Committing Rhymes. I was, we put out three 12 inches before we put out the whole album in early 89, which was the, the You Can't Hold Me Back, that, that whole album. Then uh, 93, we came back out with AD's Revenge, and Baba Tunde executive produced that one. Uh, and that was our second full length uh, LP. And we had about we had two videos off the first album, You Can't Hold Me Back and the Frankly Speaking. They was, they was playing the Frankly Speaking crazy on the box. We One day, um, we saw it play three times in a row, like back mm -hmm. to back. And I, that, I never saw nobody video. I saw people, I saw mm -hmm. them go two back to back. But yeah. I never saw nobody video go three times, and they was calling us, blowing our phone up, like, man, y'all better stop calling that video, man, man. y'all just over there calling, everybody calling the video, man, okay, okay, we gave, like, dude, we ain't even calling it in this time, guy. That's, 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 that's organic, you know what I'm saying, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying, wow. to, to, to see that. Um, yeah, the box was the box blew a lot of people up. Um, where you could just call it, and it got a lot of people in trouble too. They butt whooped because they ran up their mama bill to about two, three hundred, mm. just ordering videos on the phone. Like it was so easy, just order the video. You weren't thinking nothing about them, them dollars that was stacking up. But when that bill came, <laughs> it's over. There, it's like, there. Oh my 